but I absolutely want people to dispel the myths in their head around who this happens to, um, and also dispel what that person's life looks like. That's also, you know, we, we hear that often um, around prosecution um, in that these cases are hard because there's not another witness, or these cases are hard because it's a college student who was drinking. Um, which is also an issue. We have an incapacitation piece of statute that we need to work on so that if if a victim so chooses to have, um, t chose to drink or whatever, that they can still be sexually assaulted. Our statutes currently are a little silent on that, so we've also been working on that. Um, that makes them not a perfect victim and therefore, by standard of moving forward in investigation and prosecution, makes their rape almost not true. In, in the court of law, and I think I think that we have to be talking about that. Those are, as I say with the kids, those that's not just a box. That's a person's life, and the trajectory of their life is ch forever changed once they're sexually assaulted. And so I think it's just important that we keep reminding people that whatever visual you have of who this person is, that it's much bigger than that. And so we have to be able to see that sexual violence can happen to anyone.